in the game just to get my fatty. And these lazy ain't got competition. It's me versus me, love Key Talk. Game. Welcome back to Key Talk Media. This shows Key Talk. Check it out, man. All right. Hey, man, shout out to the OG Key Talk Game members. Shout out to the newcomers of Key Talk Game. Make sure y'all like the video. Therefore, we can go up as a team together. Actually, it takes 0.5 seconds to like the video. So if you ain't liking the video, why in the blue hell you're watching? I'm just playing. Keep watching. But like the video, too, though. Anyways, hey, check this out, man. Let's just get straight into it. So the saga between Goyeo and Sauce Walker continues so sauce walker everybody knows sauce walker is one of the richest texas rappers if not the richest texas rapper at this current time right now right uh now with that being said sauce walker came out yesterday and kind of did some trolling what was it you know not kind of there's a trolling for sure there's some trolling and just showing off of course his riches and stuff like that right so in the past we heard sauce walker pretty much say that you know, when it comes to boxing, uh, a person that want to box somebody else can't just randomly be like, hey, I want this person or hey, I want that person. You got to work your way up in order to be able to box that person. Right. So he put it in perspective and was pretty much saying, like, hey, listen, man, go. Yeah, yo, you know, he's not deserving to box me yet. Right. I'm not trying to catapult his career, box him and then catapult his career. When your career done, your career is done. Right. So yesterday, Sauce Walker actually came out and had all well, not all of his cars, just like a small portion of his cars lined up at the boxing uh, place and was pretty much saying stuff like, hey, listen, man, it ain't no way in blue hell that, uh, that, 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 that you know, somebody's qualified, you know, somebody that you qualified, that buddy qualified to, 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 to even step in my face. Look what TSF pull up to the business in. Look what TSF pull up to the boxing ring in. Millions and millions of dollars worth of cars. And then he shows some cars that was actually paid off for 2024, 2022, updated version of it. He said that he got as well. So he was pretty much just trolling and flexing the money and saying, hey, man, dudes ain't qualified. I know y'all saw that video where, 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 uh, where that one super buff dude was like, listen, queen, you ain't qualified. So it kind of put that, but put it towards his own situation, right? You already know. Now, with him coming out, and, first of all, let me play that video, and then I'm going to show y'all some of the responses that actually Beto had, right? Here goes that video. What the fuck announcement, nigga? You niggas can't fuck with me at nothing. <laughs> y'all can't fuck TSF at nothing. This is what the fuck I mean by... Niggas not qualified. You see how me and my nigga pull up to the motherfucking gym? We pull up to the gym in millions of dollars. Rolls Royce cutting in, paid off. Made back, original 600 bins, paid fucking off. Nigga, me and my brother have that same car and I got the new ones. Escalade, 2022, paid the fuck off. Nigga. You broke son of a bitch. I got more jewelry. I got more accolades, more streams, more cars, more hosts, more clothes. Hey, man, we stepping on Louis Vuitton tiles on the ground. This is what we sweating on. We sweating on this shit. Saving up your money for. On some big hey, Get your bread up, but I'm still going to. Anyway, so like I say, from that video, you can definitely tell that he trolling and putting stuff towards his situation. And if you're smart enough to catch on, then you catch on. But if you ain't smart enough to catch on, then you ain't smart enough to catch on. And you know, talking about you just got listening, and hopefully you can catch on, right? Anyways, now Beto. Beto actually came out and he said something as well, right? You know, lately Sauce Walker's been doing a whole, I'm talking about he's been getting some elite boxing training, some real deal boxing training by some very uh, prestigious boxing people, people that's connected to Floyd Mayweather and just other stuff as well, right? Now, with that being said, you know, Beto came out was pretty much like, <laughs> oh yeah, man, somebody do all that boxing and end up getting filled up with lead. There's no point of the boxing, huh? Or something like that. Actually, you know, let me play exactly what Beto said. Here goes that video. Nick Rex and all that good fighting to the Nick Field though with some hot yeah. shit. Then all that shit gone down the drain. That's fucked up. Anyway, so, you know, these are just some subliminal, some subliminal things that's actually going towards each other. And Goyeo himself actually came out uh, and Goyeo said some stuff as well. Pretty much, said, hey, man, listen, anybody that done ever said anything to me, period, point blank, you're going to have to stand on that. You know, talking about whether it's good, bad, friends, families, ops, enemies, foes, whatever it may be, you're going to have to stand on that. And here goes that video. Thing about yeah, years, I'm going to make y'all stand on that shit I said. You know what I'm saying? If you said anything, some hating shit, post a bit, nigga. I'm gonna make you stand on that shit, Bradley. You know what I'm saying? So all you niggas, ops, fans, family, friends, whatever. You ever said some 
stand on it, good or bad. Because if I said on it, nigga, I meant it. Anything I said once I said again, anything I did once I do again. I don't got no sense of shame, embarrassment, nothing. I don't give a fuck. So make sure you remember that when you deal with me. All gangsta shit, I'm saying, oh yeah, suck my dick. Anyway, so as more details develop about that, you already know I'm going to keep y'all updated on that, right? I mean, that was some. Coming down below, let me know. Oh, also, do y'all think these two will ever box, right? It kind of like, at first, it looked like the boxing was getting close, close, close. And then now it kind of looks like the boxing chances are dwindling away, slowly dwindling away. But hopefully, maybe we can get them back together and they can be, you know, just boxing, put everything in the past. We'll just see how that goes, all right? Let me know some. Coming down below, let me know what you think about this entire ordeal. I'm out.